Greetings everyone. The custom animation system has been launched on CNR. I believe everyone is curious about how to add the same kind of animation effect onto their favorite weapons. Today, I'm going to present you with a detailed tutorial. First, we enter the 3D editing interface of a custom weapon. Click the button in the upper right corner to access the editing page for custom animations. After entering, it will default to setting the entire weapon set to O. Click the plus sign at the lower left corner. You can create new parts that can add animations. The maximum number of parts that can be added is 15. It is worth noting that the sequence number of this position represents the parent part of the animation. This number at this position represents the subpart of the animation. When adding animations to the parent component, the associated subsections will also be affected and receive the added animation along with it. However, the animations added to the subpart will not affect the parent part. You can switch the corresponding parent part by clicking. After having created enough subparts, by clicking on the number of the subpart, you can select the area on the weapon where you want to add animations. The same part can be bound to multiple areas. You can switch out and back in after selecting a certain area, then select the next area. At present, if one accidentally selects an unwanted area by mistake, we can select the unwanted areas through a new section. When adding animations, do not add any animations to this part. After selection, click here to adjust the bone pivot editing point. To adjust the center point of the animation rotation effect, click this button. It enables the center point to automatically move to the exact center of the area. Then we will adjust the center point to the appropriate position. After adjusting the center point, then you can add animations to the selected parts here. The custom animation system in the game is implemented in the form of keyframe animation, which is composed of 30 frames per second. So what is keyframe animation? The keyframes are special frames that can help us record the initial values and the final values. They will not change even if other frames are altered. The system will automatically generate animations between two numerical values recorded by keyframes. So, to achieve a complete animation effect, at least two keyframes are needed. Clicking on the plus sign enables adding keyframes to the current track. On an animation track, a maximum of 10 keyframes can be added at most. We can change the value of the keyframe by sliding the cursor over the keyframe, clicking on the corresponding node, and then preview the actual effect. When negative values need to be added, you can enter the number and then click this button to take the negative. Click this button to lock the current keyframe, and the locked keyframe will move with the movement of our cursor. When the keyframe is moved to the desired position, we can click the button again to unlock the keyframe. Currently supported animation triggers are idle, shoot, and switch. The animation types are respectively position, rotation, and scale. Different animations correspond to different XYZ values, which represent different meanings. In position animation, X, Y, Z, it represents the corresponding coordinate point. In rotational animation, XYZ represents the angles of rotation. For instance, in putting 90 implies a 90 degree rotation. In the scaling animation, XYZ represent the scaling rates corresponding to the respective axes. The letters corresponding to the axes are shown in the figure as follows. Click the button corresponding to the animation. It is possible to hide or show all animations on the corresponding animation track. This button represents whether the current displayed animation is looping or not. When all the necessary numerical values have been set up, the custom animations for this part have been added successfully. You can preview the corresponding animation by clicking the icon. There will be additional icons to indicate that the work has added custom animations. The animation effects in different states can also be previewed in the configured position. If you have more and better ideas, welcome to realize it in the game.